Hello everyone, it's your girl, Kelsey's Claws, and welcome back to my channel. Did y'all miss me? I sure missed all of you. So sorry to have been absent. I've been crazily working hard on all these amazing nail art palettes that all of you are ordering. Thank you so much. I am just having the best time ever exploring this like other creative side. It's really, really cool. So anyways, did y'all know that Glitterbells has a YouTube channel? Well, every week for the last, I think this is the third week, they've been doing a massive giveaway. A name brand, handbag, wallet case, something like that. And this week it is Louis Vuitton. I know, it is so cool. Here is the thing you can win. I will link it down below where you can go enter and also the Glitter Bells YouTube page that you can go subscribe to and potentially win this amazing, I think it's a wallet case. So anyways, I decided to be inspired by the beautiful colors and just the general look of this giveaway item for this week so I did a set of nails like to see how I created this set of nails keep watching oh but one more thing so I obviously can't give away an amazing bag of fashion item of any sorts because I'm broke I decided to do my own little giveaway it's not much but I mean it means a lot to me because everyone knows I love to paint so I am going to give away my absolute favorite nail art brushes from glitter bells and you'll see these brushes in action in this video so if you want to enter this giveaway you need to subscribe like this video and tell me why you deserve to win these nail art brushes. All right, so if you wanna see these incredible fashion designer nails that I am obsessed with, keep watching. Time to do some nails. Oh my gosh, I have missed saying that. So as I previously mentioned, this is a classy Louis Vuitton look inspired by the Glitter Bells channel's giveaway. I am obsessed with these. They're just so pretty. What do you all think? Do you like them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I do have a code for all the products that I use. You can find it down below. Starting off with the new Glitter Bells Floral Forms. They're an absolute dream to work with, by the way. I've prepped my nails and I'm using my dehydrator and acid-free primer. I'm showing how I sculpt my clear base, but I am out of practice of recording and I went out of shot. Sorry guys. So if you want to see how I sculpt and file to shape, I have a video called Shape Like a Boss and I'll put it in the description box below. And with a little bit of movie magic, voila! They're sculpted and filed and onto the design. I wanted to use a glitter that would complement these colors, so I mixed my own using the premix glitters in Mars, Hot Flake, Savannah, and Unicorn Crush. I did two scoops of each, and then I threw in one scoop of the new Glitter Bells glitter called Lippy. It is a beautiful, fine, ready iridescent glitter and it just added that extra little pop that I was looking for and mix it all together and then of course shake it up to ensure it's all mixed thoroughly going in with cashmere cover and once again my nail room was crazy hot and the acrylic set super fast it was so frustrating but I wanted to show you all how I fix this tragic looking nail. I decided to do a cross cut with my e-file and gently file and remove those bumps and lumps from it setting way too fast. So here's a note for all of you. When working with acrylic, you want your room to be at a cooler temperature to avoid any of this happening. And just refine that cut with your hand file. Now taking that beautiful mix of colors, and butt it up against that wall and fade it down the nail. And then we're going in with Petal Candy and fade it up the nail from the tip. 
And then we're gonna add a wash of pink pastel and just a hint of fire opal. These are the three predominant colors that you will see in the Louis Vuitton wallet case. So I wanted to incorporate it throughout all of the nails. These two nails will reflect the wallet case the most. So it is a three toned ombre. I think that's what makes it so striking is the contrast, but blendability of the colors. So the tip is pink pastel blended into petal candy. My tip when doing ombre is to work fairly wet. I find that it allows for a better blendability. So when you're laying down a color, fade it up and then also fade it down. I absolutely love this color. It's fire opal and isn't it stunning? Oh my gosh, just look at it. This nail is a wash of those three colors and that glitter. I don't know what to call that glitter. So how about you tell me, what would you call this glitter? Let me know in the comments down below. So the thumb is also a wash of the colors blended together with that amazing glitter. I wanted these three nails to be more subtle and the ring finger and the middle finger to be the highlight of this design. And then the rest just kind of brings it all together. And my movie magic, boom, they are filed into shape and ready for the design. Here is a sneak peek at my own baby, my palette. And here come those amazing Glitter Bells brushes. I also wanted to show you all my other new baby, the Glitter Bells LED lamp. Isn't it gorgeous? And the light is pink. Going in with white gloss to create a fluffy, wavy line. To achieve this, I painted the white gloss gel polish and then I wiped off my brush. And by doing so, I removed the excess in a tapping motion. I then sealed these two nails with I'm a Matte from On Vogue because gel polisher paint is literally sucked up by the acrylic. So it's not ideal for line work at all. So seal the nail first. I wanted to make these nails look like the actual texture of the wallet case, so I tried my hand at those bubble nail snake skins. Yeah, no. Next. <laughs> For the LV and other symbols, I used white gel paint, and this brand was on Vogue Simply Paint, and then I sugared it with fairy dust from Glitter Bells. I love this glitter. It is perfect for sugaring, so if you want to sugar anything, I highly, highly recommend fairy dust. So with sugaring, you just apply the glitter on top of your gel paint and then cure it and then wipe off the excess. I wanted that glitter to really pop. So I used my super shiny Glitter Bells no wipe top coat and oh my gosh, wait for it. It's coming, there they are. Look at that, but we're not quite done yet. I wanted to add some chains to take this set up a notch because I wanted to resemble the chains of some of the handbags. So I attached those chains with glass slippers and of course Glitter Bell's base glue. So then add some bling bling and finish off with coconut cuticle. I like to not only do around the cuticles but also underneath your by your fingertips because when sculpting nails, you expose your fingers to acetone and filing, and they just really need to be refreshed and shown some love. And there they are. I hope you love this set as much as I do. If you like this set, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to enter my little giveaway. And go check out Glitter Bell's giveaway to potentially win that Louis Vuitton wallet case. Thanks all for watching. Bye.